Now we have seen the flood destruction in Hayes County, but other communities were damaged Memorial Weekend as well. As KXAN's Williamson County reporter Lauren Kravitz shows us now, an entire community is banding together to support a veteran who lost so much. Darn. I don't think if I was not there that I could endure what I'm going through right now. Memories of serving in the Marine Corps come back to Hank Sigmund when he looks at this photo. He served in the 70s, a trying time that doesn't compare to a new challenge. Losing his home and business off FM 619 in Taylor. Water just kept uh, rising. Right here where I'm standing, I was this deep in water. Flood waters left nothing untouched. In the engine and the gas tank, that's all, it all goes in everywhere. Hank lost four cars he was hoping to restore and sell. A water line on this windshield shows the van was almost fully submerged. Racing waters scattered items throughout Hank's shop rusting many of his tools. Mud covers the bathroom floor and water stained walls line the bedroom. 2000. All the damage Hank can put a price on doesn't matter as much as this. Uh, photo albums were the most important thing. Neighbors are reaching out to help Hank and his family. The biggest support comes this weekend with a fundraiser. <laughs> it's, it takes my breath away to know that someone would uh, reach out to other people. All the generosity makes it a little easier as Hank switches from restoring cars to rebuilding a new oh, life. Well, I've tried to dry them out. Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. And friends will hold a fundraiser this Sunday to help out Frank and his family. We've got a link with all the details tonight at KXAN.com.